In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters of St. Mary, Antiochian Orthodox Church, today is Friday, March the 20th, 2020, and it is the third Akathist. Praises to Our Lady Theotokos in our liturgical calendar. As you may all know, according to the directives from the Archdiocese and the civil law enforcement of not gathering more than 10 people, we uh, slowed down on our services, weekly services, and we are restricted now um, in celebrating Akathist, uh, Matins, Orthros, and Sunday liturgy, only the priest, uh, some chanters, and some altar boys. That means that we are communicating less, shaking hands less, hugging less, and um, embracing each other less. But nevertheless, uh, that doesn't mean in any case uh, praying less, rather praying more actually in these times of calamities and difficult and hardship um, on every and each one of us. This message is meant to tell you that we love you, and I wanted to check on you, and to tell you that no matter where you are, uh, remain praying, and you are in our prayers. You will be with us on these services, maybe not physically, but spiritually, because we will be mentioning you and your loved one and all the parishioners of our uh, St. Mary Church. This Sunday, we will mention all of you in our prayers, and you mention us in yours too. Uh, make your home a church, and don't forget we are still in time of Lenten, which is a preparation and time of contemplation, repentance, and forgiveness to each other. And it is time to go back to God. Maybe some positive thing about the staying home that we get to know each other more and to love and to forgive each other more. Um, we um, express our love and care for each other, and we pray for those who are not able to be physically with us for some reason or another. Again, I confirm to you uh, that no matter if you are able to be with us or not, this is not at all a matter of less faith for not being in the church or more faith for being in the church. We all pray for each other and we all are beloved to our God who came for all of us, whether we are able to come to the church or not. But as you know, the devil will take this opportunity of closing the church completely, which we did not reach yet, and hopefully we will not never reach to be enforced to close the church. Somebody has to pray for us, for you, for everyone. And I am happy and honored to be able to do this in my behalf, in your behalf, and on your behalf. So we will be praying for you, for your families, for your health, for your safety. Remember you also us in your prayers. The Church of St. Mary, I have contacted some volunteers, our young men and women, to offer our help, physical help and practical. If you are unable to go out for any reason, uh, whether physical difficulty or just more care not to be contaminated or to catch or to contract this virus, and you need something for your house, grocery, medicine, some um, uh, needs to your daily life, please contact us, whether by email or by my cell phone. You can call anytime or leave a message. We will get back to you and we will attend all what you need. Also, if you are sick, and need the priest, myself, to be there, to pray for you, to give you, com you communion, it is still normal practice for our church and for our priest to attend to the need of our beloved children. You are my children, 
I am your father in Christ and I am happy to serve and to be able to attend your spiritual and if I can, your physical needs. Please call us if you need anything. Also to keep in touch with the church and the calendar and the saints and the prayers. We have a great deal of material online available on our Archdiocese website. Elijah and Matthew um, have been sending some materials for you and for your children so they can keep in touch with educational material and spiritual, um, uh, encouraging us to face this difficult time in our um, life and in our nation. This virus is a threat to every and all of us at the same time, and it's attacking all over without any permission of us or out of our control. But we do have control over our faith, believing that whether we contract this virus or not, we have still the physician of our souls and bodies to attend to. We should be wise like serpent and meek like doves. Wise like serpent by following the precautions of the civil authority, the medical um, directions and directives of our spiritual father in Christ, Metropolitan Joseph and our beloved Bishop John. At the same time, don't forget, when you are sick, call the priest. When you have any spiritual need, come to the church, call the priest. Um, this is why when we are sick, not for this specific virus, we call the priest. I hope, um, God forbid, you will not never contract such a virus, but still we are available to attend to your need. And if you need any communion for sickness or for not being able uh, or for some impossibilities to come to the church to have communion, you are more than welcome to call me. I, um, I confirm again my love to you as my children. And as you may know, we cannot attend more than 10 people in those services, meaning Orthros, Sunday Liturgy, and Akathist. Uh, we will mention all of you tonight and the Akathist service. And uh, we are available the whole week. Um, call anytime. Cheryl is coming to the office 9 to 1 from Tuesday to Friday until further notice. Um, uh, she has been uh, sending the bulletin uh, to your email. Please uh, keep updated and access your, um, our website and the Archdiocese website to follow up with any uh, news or update about the services or about the uh, virus, how to face this difficult time in our lives. May um, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all through the prayers of our holy Theotokos, patron and protector of this holy community. Uh, oh Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. God be with you all and have a blessed night.